Podcast. Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmaster's blog for the Warhammer 5000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in UK and welcome to Fork discussion number 21 of this vlog I must apologize first of all for my voice I'm still coming out of my cold which I got last week which has been the, the main cause behind my inactivity of not making videos for the past week also due to the fact that I've been very busy with other things and projects but uh, over the weekends we went through a little what you could say a small controversy on the For Force World website and I felt that I wanted to share my thoughts about the whole debacle and uh, to say the least but to give some some small context uh, sometime during the Friday I believe uh, several members noted that uh, many of the Horus Heresy things had kept come up on the last uh, last chance to buy and they immediately rushed in and were like oh my god they stop set they stop selling in my legion upgrades and they stop selling Horus Heresy things and it just escalated from there many of them thought that this was an end of the world doom scenario that they're gonna shut down the whole Horus Heresy uh, outlet there, there, there would be no more uh, books there would be no more models and all of that just came to a close and looking at it there's uh, five to six pages of the uh, horror series of things that you are on last your last chance to buy them and uh, just giving a quick look at it you might uh, you might think that that this is the end of the heresy but if you look closer you will see that that's not the case and I, and if you have found me through the title of this video you, you it might be a bit clickbaity so I apologize for that but um, and this is very un, unorganized and un, unconstructed so it will be a bit chaotic but hopefully you can follow me along either way so uh, if you but if you take a closer look at it you will see that it's mostly the bundles of uh, legion upgrades and mark two shoulder pads those are the biggest things that's going into the trash can and a couple of uh, and the, um, the chest pieces which uh, for the upgrades and also a couple of uh, a few heads here and there so it's not the whole heresy outlets that's coming to an end it's only most definitely sh mark two shoulder pads chest pieces and one type of heads and one type of mark four shoulder pads which is the sons of horus uh, alternative shoulder pads and the invictoris uh, ultramarine upgrades and the reason why they are stopped selling in the, this is they've come up uh, with a small announcement or they, or they have a standard message is that they have to clear out because they're making room for new models and they can't keep all of this uh, locked up here where they yeah they don't, don't have the spare room for it and, and I, I, I kind of understand that uh, sorry I just had to think a little bit uh, yeah, yes you know this will be uncut uh, I will not I, I can't be bothered to cut it so they, they have a very standardized very unclear message which they send out all of this are going on last buy and I, uh, after looking through this, uh, first of all, I got very frustrated trying to communicate to everybody that the horse heresy is not coming to an end. This is not the end of the hobby. But people, yeah, they, they, the, the, the first responses that people had was F Forge World, I will never buy anything from you again. And uh, yeah, and that their whole world was coming to a close. And it's it's or and it's, or the second the second um, response was that all right I can't buy these things anymore which I was never gonna buy in the first place so now I'm gonna go to China cost. These are the main problems behind why they're stopping doing these things. Um, f first of all, uh, Forcewell did make a mistake by making them so darn expensive, and most of them don't even look. Good, I can agree like for instance the Iron Iron Warriors upgrades especially the chest pieces looks awful 
but others like for instance the, um, the ultramarines, the word bearers, the alpha legions, those look fantastic so it's gonna be a shame to see them go away. And some of these are even not even a year old, like for instance the space wolf chest pieces and uh, the Fox and Sons upgrade chest pieces, they, they have not barely been here a year before they just being thrown in, into the can. And it, it's quite e easily if you just take the different factors into the whole thing. First of all, Forge World made a mistake of making them a bit too expensive and uh, that will cause uh, that people won't buy them, not necessarily to the first extent at least. Uh, the second of all is since it's Mark II shoulder pads that's uh, being tossed out, it's because who buys Mark II armor? It's one of the, le the things that people don't buy. Mo most of the cases people rely on buying either Betrayal of Calf or the Burning of Prospero box set which is made out of plastic and sometimes perhaps they go for some resin to upgrade for special characters or uh, making some some special yeah special characters or just special ranks and roles in the army. Uh, so, so they are not the main part of the army, they are just the fancy, very expensive upgrades as they are supposed to be. So they, they don't sell that well, especially with the pricing. Uh, the second part problem is that uh, people turn to alternatives, mostly either knockoffs, which, I, which I've come to call them, which is a third party, party creators that usually does something like in a similar line of Forge World but more but they're trying to be a little bit off just so that they can't be sued for copyright infringement. Uh, the second for part here is which I mentioned before is that people turn to China cost which is that uh, a lot of uh, people in China usually take these products and make some uh, in these cheaper materials often very toxic materials and sell them for a cheaper price. Usually Games Workshop and Forge World is uh, on top of this trying to keep down these uh, and, uh, and sue them but it, it's, it's very possible to uh, with the laws that you have in China. And it, uh, so when people are not buying them because they're too expensive or they're turning to uh, other alternatives these will not sell and so I uh, perfectly understand that Forge World want to discontinue them and make room for other things that people might want to buy. For instance, I've heard the popularity amongst the custodians and the custodies models, so I, I completely understand that they want to turn to that. Uh, and also, with the new, since Necromunda was brought back last year, uh, it's very obvious that they want to divert a couple of uh, a lot of their workmanship over to that and try to develop yes more specialist games for them. Another thing that which uh, has happened with the Horus Heresy thing is that uh, I think it was last year that tragically uh, one of their main writers, Alan Bly, uh, tragically uh, passed away from long time sickness and he was the main writer on most of the black books and with the, his passing there will be it will be hard to fill out that gap which he has left behind him and I've also read from several comments that peop, other um, workers at Forgewell has by, been diverted to other projects most of it that which I said Necromunda and uh, I also heard other specialist games are coming back so they are working with they're uh, one man short because of tragic death, they are even further men down because they are diverted to other parts, they have no customers that's buying the parts, they have a competition that uh, actually gets the money which they actually should ha have. So it makes perfect sense that they're doing this and I think the outcry which people have done here is just ridiculous and I just wanted to throw my scent into the whole thing and try and explain to you the whole mass that first of all the world is not coming to an end, the horse heresy is not coming, definitely not coming to an end considering that it's still a very popular game even though if it's a slightly more limited game if you compare it to the 
Warhammer 40k, especially now when they've introduced the 8th edition. And some other people have also complained or theorized that the, the newly inducted 8th edition might be the cause of this as well. But I don't think that it might be a small factor into it, but I don't think it's the whole factor. Uh, but yeah, so, so I just wanted to give my very unorganized thoughts about this whole thing. I think the horse heresy and the world is not coming to an end. Uh, and if you feel that you really want these pieces before they're gone, be like me and buy them from Forge World. Or if you're lucky, try and buy them second hand if you are able to in the afterwards. Uh, me personally, I went out and bought uh, some blood angels upgrades because i felt that i'm gonna do a blood angels slash dark angels force in the future and i wanted to do these parts before it was too late because i really, really liked them and so yeah so go to forge world buy them there and or buy le legitimate things uh, second hand don't buy china cost and you can go for for uh, Third party creators knockoffs if you, that's your thing, uh, but it, it won't help Forge World in this matter, especially if you want if you want the, these particular models. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's more or less everything I had for this fork discussion. Leave the comments down below and tell me what you think about the whole debacle. Please try and keep a formal uh, and civilized tone. Uh, don't go into personal attacks just because someone has some opinions that you do not share. And with that said, thank you very much for watching this fourth discussion and don't forget to read and subscribe to my channel. Please give a thumbs up on my videos and also leave comments on things I'm doing good so you can keep on doing them. And leave negative critique on things I'm doing bad so you improve or remove the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends if it could be interesting, entertaining or simply inspiring. But with that said, thank you very much for watching this fourth discussion. Death to the false emperor. Bye.